I feel like it's unfair that they haven't paid us for contracts that we already done that we've already done. I went to Mexico and I did the contract. I performed on stage. That was my last contract before the coronavirus. That was my last paycheck that was supposed to come in. Um, I have the PCU, but at that, at some point that's going to end, and people are saying that the arts are it's going to take. We're going to be the last ones to, to come back. I'm a steer wheel artist, uh, which is a big metal wheel, and I spin around and dance. Uh, you could have seen me on Luzia uh, doing spinning under the rain right here at the big top. I've been doing circus since I was four years old. I started with trapeze. I went on to do the circus school in Montreal, and it's taken me my whole life to get where I am professionally. And the last, and I have 10 years of, of professional career under my belt. My plan B, if I get injured or not pand pandemic, plan B was to find another job in the circus assistant directing or sonography or something like that and so if the circus industry doesn't come back even my plan B doesn't work anymore and so I'm really dependent on on this industry and and I it's what I love to do so I don't want to go anywhere else <laughs> the impact is major this is our salary this is the food that we are able to put on the table the rent that we are able to pay this is work that we have done between last fall into uh, the stoppage of work in mid-March. So we're talking about months and weeks of salary not being paid, not being honored. So this has put us in, into a very stressful financial situation, devastating for myself. The, the CERB, with the, the PCU, right, has been able to help us so far, which has been great, but this is ending soon. And what we're asking is for CERB to actually commit to a formal like, uh, commitment to, um, to pay us to make sure that they honor in full their debt to us for the work rendered. As of today, most members are out of income. Um, I know that some are coming near to being out of pocket in a distressful situation. I myself, I had to look into what a personal bankruptcy would look like for myself, you know, so I'm trying not to go there. I'm trying to make sure to take every step necessary uh, not to go there, but it has caused that much stress that I have to question my own status. It's sad that they stopped paying them and it was not a question of COVID, it was a question of bad finance. Then, and uh, they ran out of money before COVID even. So it's management that didn't do it the proper way, I think. Some problem with the show that they were putting out. They were putting out many, many shows, and uh, a couple of them uh, didn't work out. One especially, they closed in Vegas. And it was a question of how they were going of the, about the development, putting so much show others on the road to get money and and that demands putting out lots of money to finance hoping to make a buck out of it but it didn't work out that way and they were i would say stretching to f finance all this debt and finally covid came and it stopped all the revenue so it, of course it was in a bad shape